Hey guys, welcome back to RTHD and in this episode I just want to talk very quickly and explain how to go about installing external APK files, that ex external apps on your Fire Stick TV, so stay tuned. <music> Alright guys, so we're back. The thing is that um, you may be wondering why it is you would want to install any external apps uh, onto your Fire Stick. Well, first of all, Fire Stick actually runs Android apps and um, sometimes you want to run an app that is not on the store, the Amazon store. And so um, this will actually help you to get around doing that. Alright, so stay tuned. I'm going to flip it around so that you can actually see uh, the, the Fire Stick uh, interface while we do this. All right, sorry guys if it's a little bit dark, but um, we'll have to go this way because the TV is actually so bright that the camera is kind of com compensating for the such the brightness and dark in the screen. But I hope that you can actually see the screen there. It may be slightly blurry, but the whole point is that uh, this, this is the process to go about um, doing it. Now, the first thing you will need is actually an app that you can actually get on the um, apps section of Amazon fire stick um no the thing is that i couldn't actually find a way to search other than using the microphone search that comes on the actual remote here so that's what i'm gonna do the name of the app is actually downloader so let's see if we could get downloader now downloader is spelled d-o-w-n-l-o-a-d-e-r right just in case you could actually find a search but i'm gonna use it using the microphone so here it goes you're gonna see it activate here downloader And as you can see, it's the the left this one right here, and so we're gonna select that one, and that's the one we want to install. Now, when we click on that, you should see a little uh, round icon, at, and it says download. So you just select that. We selecting it, and we're gonna click on it, and it says queued, and it should download here. Um, and it says it explains the first time because it's the first time I'm actually downloading. This is a, this is one of the new um, Fire Six that I got, right? Um, so yeah, it's already downloaded and we simply open it from there. And as you can see, it says welcome and so forth. Thank you for the to download and download the app. Please visit DetroitPoint.com, which is the, the guys who built it and press OK. And now what you see is this interface here. Now this interface basically asks you uh, where you want to download the file from and you can actually enter the URL here. But there's a little catch to this because it's not going to necessarily be able to install it after you download it. Now, the nice thing about downloader, as you can see on the left hand side as well, I don't think you can, might be able to see that because of the, the screen, but I'll try to turn it around. Maybe it will catch the focus. Hopefully, it will catch the text. I am not too certain. It may not. All right. But on the list on the side here, what you will actually see is home browser files and so forth. So when you download, you should be able to use that the built-in browser to be able to find the files that you download. Again, the whole idea behind this thing is to be able to download APK files, which are usually Android file, Android files that um, or Android apps that that's the install files for Android apps, right? Um, so, uh, for example, a lot of people that uh, use IPTV, for example, um, IPTV apps, they will have to download it outside of using the uh, Play Store or the Amazon Store, be, well, pretty much the Amazon Store, right? Because, you know, it uses the Amazon Store. Um, so that's the whole idea. But as I said, that's not all to it. We actually have to come out of here. So we let's press the home button and come out of the downloader. And we have to go to settings at the top of the screen and go down to maybe my Fire TV. Right, yeah. So we go to my Fire TV. <coughs> excuse me and then we go down to developer options and here we actually choose apps from unknown sources so we want to allow that now this is this could be possibly dangerous in terms of if you download crap off the internet and decide to install it on your fire, fire stick which I don't suggest uh, but the fact that uh, you will actually be you will actually need this if you have to download any app that is not on the store that you need to enable this thing so you must enable apps from unknown sources 
before you can actually use the downloader app to download um, any source outside outside of the Amazon uh, Play Store or at the Amazon Store, the App Store. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. So when you do the when you do the download, you type in the information here, and it goes and downloads the file. Then you move across to the left. Oh gosh, right, yeah, files, and you should be able to. <laughs> the file should be able to be detected here, and then you just select it to open it using, of course, the circle button that's on this. And pretty much, it'll say, "Are you sure you want to install?" You install it, and it's gonna appear on your file stick. So, guys, I hope that this uh, video actually helps you out a little bit. Um, if it does, please like, please subscribe for more. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, let me know in the comments below, and I'll be really, really happy to, um, you know answer those questions as long as I'm capable of doing so. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for viewing, and uh, I'll see you guys again soon on another episode of RTHD coming to YouTube screen near you. Bye.